Hi brothers and sisters. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the one li true living Son of God. Um, happy fall. It's fall. As you can see, I'm riding my bike and it is fall. That's the season we're in. I'm just trying to get out of counting the seasons by the the Romans uh, time those who seek to change times and seasons with their witchcraft and I'm looking at the season that we're in right now because the trees have beautiful colors changing and leaves falling and so we're in the fall season the harvest season um, so I just wanted to tell you what he's been sharing with me on on the way post office and I had to stop and put my phone on the bike because it's such exciting uh, information and he told me, Papa Father said, whatever I, uh, whatever I whisper in your ear, shout on the rooftops. <laughs> so this is the way we're doing it. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Um, so he was talking to me about all the revelation and the understanding, the unveiling of hidden truths, which is what apocalypse means, um, in, uh, I think, Hebrew, because uh, God doesn't hide anything. So he was sharing with me about the serpents. We, if you go back in a video I had done about who the serpents are, the serpent from the garden that Adam and Eve were supposed to rule over uh, usurped his authority that God gave him and instead you know he tries to rule over us and he tries to sit in the mounts of the congregation and tries to rule over all of the earth and all the people in the earth mankind and he showed me, the Father showed me, and many brothers and sisters I think are getting this revelation, that these serpents are the Masons, Jesuits, Shriners, fraternities, and sororities and occults of Kabbalism, mysticism, Gnosticism, and if you go way down in my history you'll see that they are proclaiming themselves to be God or gods and uh, many of them um, do well they all do sorcery witchcraft using the tele live vision TV using media which is a sort a medium which is a which so Jesus said not to consult any mediums remember so we're not supposed to be consulting the news on TV and he showed me that that's the Mystery Babylon, just like he showed many of us. Mystery Babylon tries to rule over people. You see them everywhere. Uh, passing laws and putting burdens on people that they can't hardly, you know, carry. That's why Jesus said, my, lo li my um, yoke is light, cast your cares upon me. Um, and these serpents are being judged by the Word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, His words. Um, and so he showed me that uh, Mystery Babylon is being torn down right now. And uh, so they have been sitting in the, the minds of people putting, rushing into the kingdom, into Christians, in their, into their mind, with all of their stuff. The worries of the world, the things of the world, the love of the world, distorting um, what his creation is. Um, putting thoughts in our mind that are not what God told us to put on our mind. He said, think on these things, that which is pure and lovely, that which is a a good report. So things like Christ and Him crucified for the remission of the sins of the world, that's 
the best report that you could ever think on. What a beautiful creator we have that planned from the beginning. The one who made heaven and earth, the one who made mankind and all the creatures and all the wonderful things that he's done, created the springs of waters, living waters, and the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But even though he did that, he still doesn't have authority over us at all. See, God just revealed something to me pretty awesome. And that is, God's covenant is an everlasting covenant. And if Israel is the natives and Judah the blacks, the native cultures and the lands that the sons of perdition came in and killed and stole and destroyed and dug in holes like serpents because God said they would crawl on their belly uh, but before they were standing they were like people like mankind but they were a snake kind cunning and subtle in all their ways and man being the sheep that they are following God you know God knew that they needed a savior and that he needed to be the savior because no one else could do it. Only God could do it. So what the enemy thinks in their mind, in their thoughts, because they think their mind is God and their Christ and Christ consciousness is God, but they're really serpents, sorcerers, merchants, masons, Jesuits, shriners, fraternities and sororities, mystics, Gnostics, they're, they're antichrists. And what God has shown me is that they thought they could make everyone think first they rushed into the kingdom you know with their your eyes because your eyes are the window to your soul right so once you're saved by faith on Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins the name of Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach um, once you're saved you are a child of God and you're in translated into the kingdom but the enemy with all of his stuff like TV music educators liars and deceivers they rushed into the kingdom through your eyes and your ears even we speak to each other deceit because we don't ourselves don't know sometimes whenever we're deceived we didn't know so they weaken the nations this way Satan did using these people and all the nations are weakened by these serpents but it doesn't it it's just so that he could come in and make a test and testify against them. We have witnesses against them. And he has all the witnesses he needs now. God's Holy Ghost is a witness. All of his people are witnesses. The blood's the witness and the spirit's a witness. So even they themselves are witness against themselves. Now, in the last days, a lot of Christians think that when uh, Satan makes a covenant with uh, the beast makes a covenant with Israel as a sign of God's coming. So these liars and deceivers have been making you think that the covenant is with the president of Israel and that they're making these covenants and then they break them and then they make them and they break them. But the fact is the covenant that was an everlasting covenant cannot be broken. The everlasting covenant is the blood of Christ, God's covenant. And it's not with everybody. It's with the whole world that he covered, except for the ones who are under judgment, under condemnation, because they believe not. Anyone who does not believe the blood is for the remission of their sins. They're, they don't believe on the name of Jesus Christ. They're not under that covenant, even though God made it for the whole world. They're still clean, but they haven't come into the kingdom. But that covenant, that's God's covenant. No one can break that covenant. And it says that they, um, they they break the covenant. But I was talking to God. I'm like, is that what it really says? So we have to read it over. I'm telling you guys this so you can go read it for yourselves. And let's come back on the discussion board because I think that the enemy has twisted that that scripture to make everyone believe a lie. And God is exposing this to us now. Because a king, which our Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is the king. And he's the king of Israel. And it's, God, it's God's covenant. 
his testament, his testimony that life is in his son, and all who believe on him will be saved from the lake of fire. He never promised to be saved from trials and tribulations, but his bride will not see wrath. So the judgments, the plagues, are not for his bride. And the thing about a bride, which I've got to explain, a thing about the thing about a bride is she cannot make any agreements. She cannot sign any covenants. She cannot do anything that the king does not approve of. So the fact is, is all of the ideas of this covenant with Israel that the beast is going to make or the enemy is going to make, it's all to deceive us. Because the truth is, nobody can make a, make a covenant but Jesus the king. And anything that the, the woman signs, any of the loan agreements or any of the things that you sign as the bride of Christ, it's null and void if the king did not approve of it first. So the enemy thinks that he's got all of these, these covenants with, his, with the Lord's bride. And the fact is, it's, it's a lie. And the covenant that they're trying to make with Israel in, uh, in uh, Jerusalem is another deception. Because only Jesus can sign that covenant. Because Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is the King of Israel. And the bride, those who are in him, we're not the mouth of God. We are speaking with a horn, with a trumpet. But we're not. he would never give us authority to sign any agreement with the enemy. Because he said to Israel, which is contains Judah also, because Jesus is the Lion of the tribe of Judah, and he is the King of Israel. They're joined two kingdoms into one. They, he would never sign a covenant with the enemy regarding Israel. And he told Israel not to make any covenants with them with the Edomites or the any of the Jezebites or any of the ites. He said not to make a covenant with them. So because he said not to make a covenant back in the Old Testament, he wouldn't do it now. He would never make a covenant. And any covenant that people sign, if they're part of Israel, it's null and void. None of it is, is um, pertaining to the kingdom has no, it's just a sign of the times we're living in. And that's what the enemy wants everyone to believe, is that they have some sort of control over Israel, and they don't. Because the gates of hell will not prevail against the church of God. And all of their witchcraft that they have done to try to make everyone think that they have any kind of um, authority over Israel is a great deception, you guys. They make everyone believe a lie. That's what it says in the book of Revelation. So, these serpents and Persia, the my my mystery Babylon, Masons, Desperate Shriners, Fraternities and Shorties, and the Persians cannot make a covenant that is pertaining to the Lord Jesus Christ and his bride. Because again, if you research about a king and his bride, the bride cannot make any kind of covenants without the king's permission. And the king told us in the Old Testament not to make any covenants with our enemies, to instead destroy them, and that's with the word of God, with the word of our mouth, with the sword, with the, the sword, which is the word of God. And that's how we destroy them and kill them and burn them. We don't go around killing people or <laughs> murdering people. That's the enemy. That's how you know they're the enemy, because they shed blood and they condemn people to death. Anyone who condemns people to death, they're basically condemning themselves in what they're doing. So, um, go ahead and research this with me, and let's get back together on this. i got to stop this one. I, I'll finish it up in the next video. But just know that nothing that we sign, if you're part of Israel or if you're grafted into Israel, um, it, it has to be approved by the king. And... Um, I think he has not approved most of what they've done, <laughs> so all of their their uh, agreements and covenants are null and void. In fact, they owe everything that's in the earth and under the earth is God's anyways, so, anyways, and in the heavens too. God bless you.